Good morning guys and welcome to the beach. We are at the beach. We're starting today off at the beach. Freezing! We went to the grocery store, bought a bunch of food. Of like just, we won't be sleeping here this year so we won't be like filling our cupboards and fridge with food. We'll be bringing it on the days that we come. Close that. So we happen to get freezing. So we. How much water do we have? A lot of water. I'm putting these in. I'm putting one in the freezer because I'm gonna have one later. Ew. These guys, these are our favorite. Cups. Yeah, these are our, our favorite no sugar drinks. I wish they offered them in smaller. Oh, did you? Ruby can get in and out through there. Did you walk through the screen door? No, Ruby can get in and out through that little. Summer clothes. I know. That's why she. That's why she stays skinny. This is gonna break. This Just heavy. put it on the counter there. Heavy. So it's true. We are at the beach. I plan. We the horses have breakfast. They have lunch. You wear this one's heavy. That one's heavy. We are going to uh, spend the day here and then have supper, probably with my oh, sister. Oh, by the way, guys, we're starting the vlog. Yet. 12.13. Yeah, it's 12.13. It's technically... This is what I love about having girls, though, because when my boys were little, they never came to see the food. Which is surprising, because boys love food more than girls, basically. You would think that, but if, in my experience, that's not true. If girls love food. Yes. yes. But still. Uh, don't open those. Just throw it in the fridge. It's for... I want one. For the show? It's for when the grandkids come. Where? Ruby? Ruby finds all her old favorite spots and sits down. Basically, like right in front of where you get up and you step on her. Basically, our summer plans, I mean, a, a little tiny, our summer trailer plans are that on days beach that we can come when it's scorching hot and we want to spend the day at the beach, we will feed our horses breakfast and then we'll go back down just before we leave, feed them lunch head over, spend as much time as we can during the day, and then be home by the time it's time to give them supper. Cause or two people it's all go about the home. horse. Two people go home, do their night for chores, and then they come back, and then we sleep here, and then get up early in the morning and go. I know, that'd be a lot, cause we are live, we We'd live far away. We'd have to get away. up at 5 a.m. in the morning. We'd have to get up at 5 a.m. To get there by nine. To get there by six. To get there by nine. We do not live four hours away. Still. We live like about 40 minutes away. Still. I'm gonna go and cut the grass and get my bathing suit on and I'll catch you guys later when we get to the pool. Are we going to the pool? Yes. Yes. Dog beach. Gabby wants to go to the dog beach and take Ruby Who's down there for a time. The Sophie and I are going to the pool. Gabby. I don't like anything with lots of people there. What? The Door pool's shows? warm. Except for horse shows because they're all equestrians. They're all weird. And she only likes equestrians now. That's what happens from year to year. They change so much. Anyways, so we are going to go and I'm going to cut the grass and we'll meet you guys back at the pool. But uh, while we're gone, you guys can check out this video that I shot this morning with the horses. I did them all by myself. I messed it all up and because my nerves How? were thin. Oh my gosh, wait till you see. I'm going to show them the footage. Um, Anyways, yeah, I need to do a lot of work, but here's my question to you. We've been in the arena together. That's what we did at supper time. That's what I ben did. Ben finishes his grain. And then goes. And then goes to eat Storm's grain, but then Storm throws his head oh, up. Oh, we'll his see. Ears at ben, and then Finn runs away. And then I should have let that happen, but I didn't want any fighting. But anyways, basically. No, only Storm stays where he hey, is. Wait, let me tell them my problem. Storm stays where he let is. Let me tell them he my just problem. Finn. To move and get away. Okay, so this is my question to you guys. My question today is, Finn is a really, really sensitive spirit. He's like Sophie, and he has no connection yet. He, like, he is no, he does not, he has no confidence. He looks to anybody that he can find to save him in any kind of situation. Except he's, for when you ride him. Yeah, when you he ride him. You. Well, when you ride him, he's a lot better. But yeah, it's so scary. Like, I don't know what to do. I know that in horse terms, you're meant to... Obviously, in horse terms, the best thing to do is to lunge him. But the thing is, what? lunging to do join up and and uh, I, already did that. I know, but that 
Why that you doesn't him with side rings? that doesn't build confidence in him. It builds him me as the leader, but then he gets scared. Like that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Like it's a weird thing. Like what do you recommend for building a bond? What do you recommend for building a bond? I guess that that's my question. How do I make Finn feel confident? And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, "Be the leader of him," blah blah. But today, but today I, for every little I thing. use no, my lead like, rope and I shushed him away, and then he gets so scared, like then that he climbs on top of you. Yeah, like I don't know. Anyway, comment below, and we'll see you guys in a few minutes. Bring my camera down with me this morning. I plan to just come down feed the horses, let them out, and then head back up to the house. But I feel exhilarated because I've discovered that our horses are playing in the arena. So last night, Sam put, put the chairs in because the horses have been dragging the chairs out every morning. And he put out some pylons and he put out some balls and they were not over there when he, when he did it. And I know they've been playing. There are pylons here. Typically, they play with these things. So, I'm on a quest now to find the best amazing toys for our horses to play with. Something to keep them busy through the long, dark night. So proud of these boys. Also, I'm doing something new. I'm feeding the boys out here like we used to do at our old barn, at Fiona's barn, where we just feed the horses under the fence. And, and in this, I'm literally trying to be brave because this is a huge challenge for me because they both get kind of jumpy when I bring the food out and I was worried about Finn you guys know I'm scared but I recognize that now and I'm gonna be working on it I want to get back to that point where when Finn was grooming me before like I want to be close to him again it's just that I don't trust him not to plow over me he will and I know that he will I just know that the next time he tries that it will never happen again because when it comes to your safety, you find a spot inside you and then make sure that it won't happen again. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to vlog this little kind of triumph because it feels amazing. It feels amazing when we're doing something that is actually working for our horses. Now I just got to get the girls out here. Oh my god, the storm. Get away, dude. All right, I'm going to try again. Listen, do not jump that rope. I put two of them up. Do not even try it, Finn. Come on, storm, let's go quick. I'm not going to lie, this horse freaks me out. Don't even try it. Hurry up. That's what happens when you be a butthead. Like, honestly, why can't you just be a civilized horse? Finn and I are going to work on our fears together. Are we going to work on our fears together, Finn? He's like, he's like, fooled again. Oh, deep breath. You guys, even though I am scared, I'm owning it so that I can fix it. I am trying not to project it onto our horses or onto our kids. And I think it's working. I just need to do... I just need to do, oh God, he's going to charge it. I just need to do some work, some ground work with Finn, like a lot of it. Don't even think of it. Oh, being at the trailer means jumping Ruby. If you can't jump your horse, you jump your dog. Jump that trotting. Hey, yeah, they do it from a standstill. No, it's too high to do it from a standstill. Make her walk. Bring her to that. No, no, no.
for a while. But there's a lot of kids there and I don't like to Oh look at that, eh? And I don't like to video other people's kids if I don't if I can help it. So we are coming down to the lake. Yeah, I fell going down these stairs before. I fell right in the grass there, so I don't want to do that again. There's a video of that. Basically this is This is the dog beach. I love it. Yeah, well, you can't put Ruby in there. Let her go on the rocks. All right. I love it. So, so usually the water is way below this um, wall here, but it's. I can't get down. Be careful. But it's actually a really high this year. It never comes up this high. Baby, look. Is it warm though? Like I want to go in there. I wish I had brought uh, my flip flop. Ruby's like, I remember this place. I do not like water. Ruby, you like it eventually. Ruby's like, oh my god. Good girl. You got it, sister. All right. Ah, my feet are burning. Who thinks that I'd be able to sit down on this skinny little wall and put my feet in the water? All right, I am not gonna lie. It is, it's freezing cold. Freezing, like icicles. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Whew. Because if, whoo, if I, oh, it's too cold. If I fall back, I'm gonna end up there. And if I fall forward, I'm gonna end up in the ice. So this is the lake, you guys. The ice. The ice. This is Lake Ontario. It looks pretty. When I was growing up, my family had a cottage over around that bend there. See the big trees right around there? You could walk or we you take the boat to this place. Woo, it's only cold after you've seen him for a long time. <laughs> it's so cold. It literally feels like the ice in the lake just melted, and I bet you it probably did not melt that long ago. I, yeah, it doesn't usually end up, like we're gonna have a really long season. Something you guys might not know is that for as cold it gets in Canada, where we live, it gets so hot too. So that's so why that that's why we like to have some place at the beach that we can go when it's super, super hot. Yeah. And we like to come down to this beach because uh, the beach at the trailer, the dogs are not allowed. This is the only place the dogs are allowed. I have no idea how I'm getting out of this spot. That's, that's what I'm confused about. I'm sitting here on my towel. Is it warm? Is it warmer? Yeah. All right, Ruby. All right, so I turned around and this little area probably has leeches. Really? I don't know. It's not actually. Ow, Ruby. Could have leeches. I don't care. It's nice. It's warm over care. here. I don't it's care. Still on my blood. I don't care. Sam, come sit here with us. Gabby, here. Ruby's like, ew, Ruby, don't drink it. It's kind of green. Yeah, it's LG water. I love that our kids' bathing suits fit them still from last year. No, my pants are way too big. Gabby wants to get a new bathing suit, so we're going to go shopping this week. She wants a. Uh, High-waisted bikini so she can get some sun Mom. and what kind of it do you want another bathing suit or do you want some clothes? It's cold over there your feet hurt over there. Yeah, your feet hurt over there Ew, it's like stuff. Our old golden doodle was not a big jumper, but she loved the water this golden doodle does not love the water But she's a big jumper. Which would you rather have big jumper, big jumper. watch this guys don't do it don't do it Oh my gosh. Wait, no, oh. no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. I'm Jesus. <laughs> You're Jesus? <laughs> this is our rec hall. This is where we hang out. This is where we play fuse foosball never. This is where all the kids come to color. This is where you can borrow any of these books and read them. And either return it or bring your other books here. I have a bunch of books I'm going to put here. How the new Canadian establishment seized power. Like, isn't that a good summer read? No. This looks like it could be untamed. When we bought Storm and Stella, 
we kind of thought that we would leave our horses exactly where they were at Fiona's barn, the barn that she was at, and we would stay at the trailer and drive there every day and spend time with our horses. And we did that last summer. And then when her barn closed, like we did not know, like, I don't know. I sometimes feel like cheated because even though we wanted a farm, it just happened so fast. And our, the rest of our life is, is not really caught up yet. Like I want to have a, a, a trailer and go to the beach. This is where I hang out with my sister and my niece and I'm here. Bobby brushing her hair again. People think you don't brush your hair. Yeah, what's going on? I'm brushing it twice in a day, eh? Because chlorine makes my hair horrible. It absolutely does. And I don't like the feeling of like when my hair is like knotted, like really knotted. So the kids can go here and play with their friends, go to the park. But then the horses are at home. Like, we can't ever sleep here now because we have to be home for the horses. Like, we have to feed them in the morning and at night. So, there's no sense Get Fiona. driving back and forth. Unless Sam wanted to do that. That's like a 45 minute drive. Yeah. So, I don't but know. It actually isn't too bad. I'm excited to see how it works out. I'm a big believer in just letting it work out. But yeah, we want to stay and be able to spend time at the beach. I found my and have our horses. Though. So, whenever we're at the beach, we always eat more than we normally would at home. And we always eat junky or more junky stuff. Oh my gosh, Gabby's gone. Call the police, Gabby's missing. <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. That was cringy. Anyway, I think God's trying to tell me that there's no place like home. Because at the bar, yeah, at the at the trailer, it was so scorching hot we couldn't even breathe. But here, there's like a breeze and it's cool. Hey Willow, you're looking good. No, I'm not the bell boot person. You were the other one. Hey Storm. Oh my gosh. You guys been pooping in the arena. Back it up. You guys got water? Do not push past me. We and you gotta be friends again. Anyway, um, we are home from the trailer and I wanted to tell you guys that I think our horses look, Finn looks thinner. What? Finn looks thinner. I don't know what that's about. It's been since we put them on the grass. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, maybe Stella's eating all his food. I'll have to figure it out. Fiona once told me that um, she always watched her horses all the time and was able to like make changes to their diet on a need to be um, schedule. And that's what I want to do. I want to like always watch. Like Willow looks a little chubbier. Finn looks a little thinner. So I might have to change things up a bit. Don't you? That's all you have to do. Back up. It's cooled down a bit. We're going to take the boys to the grass. Hi, buddy. Back up. Like, no. To the house and we're gonna edit to today's video um so before i end today's video on the eve of stella's one year anniversary of being with us i want to ask you guys for your help will you guys help us help us find stella's past hashtag find stella's past i don't know why i want to know what happened to her i want to know i want to know her past i might um get a pet psychic to do a reading on her but I just, I want to know that she was loved before. And I know that she was, but I need to know that she was loved before. So if you guys feel up to the task, please share her picture, share, share her story. Got her from Quebec. Apparently she was less than horse before, but Quebec is the horse kill capital of the world. So um, horses are shipped in there all the time to Quebec to be um, used for horse meat. So who knows what Stella's story is, but I really want to know Stella's story. So hashtag um, find Stella's story if you can. 
Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.